Hello again. This is Ike Feldman. I may not sound like Ike Feldman, but I promise you it's him. I mean, it's me. I am extremely clogged and stuffed because it is allergy season. Uh, My arch nemesis for the last 32 years has been pollen, ragweed, uh, dust, and direct sun into my eyeballs when this is all culminating i'm clogged but i am here um what a performance last night from uh jury i gotta find out his last name guy uh the czech republic fighter who has 28 wins three losses 25 of his 28 wins have come via knockout that's crazy i only heard about this guy last year when he knocked out former ufc title challenger vulcan ozdemir in like freakish fast way he knocked him out in a freakish fast way and uh i heard about him but now I understand him he just pulled off one of the craziest knockouts I've ever seen in a cage he did a fade away spinning elbow to completely shut the lights off of Dominic Reyes now for those of you that may think Dominic Reyes is fizzling up or his career is over, you're wrong. This dude has only fought freaking 14 or 15 times professionally, not in the UFC, professionally. And he gave John Jones the toughest test of his career. Go rewatch the fight. You could say that Dominic Reyes won three of the five rounds and won the first three rounds decisively but nobody remembers that they remember john jones continuing his fantastic mixed martial arts career and then now disappearing from the light heavyweight division and jumping up to heavyweight to potentially quote unquote fight a ufc heavyweight we will see. But in the meantime, Dominic Reyes barely lost to John Jones, and that is the reason why he got the title shot against now current champion Jan Blachowicz. Or Blachowicz. These European names, man. So Jan destroys Dominic Reyes, knocks him out. I think it was the last September... And then Jan now returns in his first undisputed title defense. (sighs) UFC 259, I believe it was. Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, gets dominated by Jan Blachowicz. Five rounds, just... Out game plan Adesanya. Adesanya, who doesn't does it doesn't matter right now. He's gonna go back down the middleweight. He was trying to make history, but he fell a little short, and he's gonna go back and do what got him to the dance. Kind of. He's facing Marvin Vittori. He should be facing Robert Whitaker, but whatever. Back to Yuri. I don't know this guy's name. Fighter. And Dominic Reyes. I mean, what a freaking performance by Yuri. This guy is a little goofy. He's different. Um, But I like the different. He's modest. He's humble. And he's a hell of a performer on fight night. And I I respect uh, all three of those things. 
I think this is healthy for mixed martial arts now that it's on ESPN. I've always talked about it, that the UFC will be able to now tell the stories of not just a Conor McGregor or anybody who fights a McGregor story. Uh, now that the UFC is on the ESPN platform, they can showcase some of the quieter stars like a Brian Ortega and Alexander Volkanovsky. Uh, which are co-hosts now on the Ultimate Fighter show. Uh, There's a lot I haven't covered in the Octagons, but I'll I'll start to catch up faster, folks, I promise. But the Ultimate Fighter coming back now, maybe after three or four, maybe five years since it was on uh, Fox Sports 1, uh, had pretty good success, in my opinion. Uh, Probably equal to if not better coverage than spike did i don't know why people got tired of it i I always enjoyed the uh the fighters being locked in a house and competing over pop tarts or anything um but the point is the ultimate fighter the fighters themselves and the coaches who will be fighting for a title uh they will be showcased a lot better they have to be. It's on ESPN. Um, Sports Center should at least do minute clips and interviews with the coaches as they prepare for their fights. That would be great. Or air some episodes on ESPN too. I think that'd be uh, fantastic content. And I-, I believe they'll be done shooting, editing, and promoting it by june which i think that'd be awesome i think it'd be a hit over the summer you're gonna have basically uh, in the middle of the mlb season and uh the finals will be underway in the nba and it will be right before the nfl takes control of the world again and Tom Brady goes for even more history. I believe uh, football is just end-all, be-all when it comes to sports, especially in America. But uh, I think the UFC are in a good spot right now. Every year, every March, as soon as the football season ends, uh, ESPN is wising up extremely fast and dedicating more and more time to the UFC's coverage of pay-per-view main events, co-main events, fight night cards, uh, and now the Ultimate Fighter. And to put a nice bow on this, Yuri, you know what, I'm going to, let's end this with me finding out this guy's name. Um... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he's he's got an interesting style. He's from the Czech Republic, and uh, he does like a double uppercut, freaking hands low style, like a, literally a drunken Irishman. And it looks like man, this guy has no idea what he's doing because Dominic Reyes wobbled him and was in this fight. I I think this is the fight of the year, and it's not being uh, talked about enough. And anybody who's looking at Dominic Reyes as a chump right now, they're idiots, because this guy, Yuri Prochaska, Prochaska, uh, he is a killer, and he has an amazing resume, and he's building the resume more and more every day. So anybody who's trying to slight Dominic Reyes or not build up Yuri, they just don't know what they're talking about. And don't listen to them. Listen to me. The Iktagon. At Iktagon. At I-K-E-T-A-G-O-N dot com. Peace.